Good morning. Welcome to New Life. What an honor to have you join us for our morning worship. I am Bernicia Graham, and I have your news for this Sunday, March 3rd. Hello, everyone. You know, Proverbs 29, 18 says, where there is no vision, the people perish. And the Message Bible says it this way, if people can't see what God is doing, they stumble all over themselves. But when they attend to what he reveals, they're most blessed. I am so excited to announce that our New Life Leadership Conference is back, and our theme is, we've got work to do. Myself, Lady J, the co-pastors and the wives, along with some of our ministerial staff, have put together one of the most comprehensive tailor-made leadership conferences that I've ever seen by the prompting of the Holy Spirit. I need you to mark your calendar and tell a friend. This conference is set for Saturday, March 9th, starting promptly at 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. at NX5 on 5600 Carriage Hills Drive. Every member and extended family member of New Life Montgomery and Birmingham is a leader to someone. And this leadership conference is open to every one of you and it's absolutely free. At the very beginning of the conference, starting promptly at 9 a.m., I will give a brief state of address about the conference. You see, New Life is at a point right now that we must have a real understanding of why we are, who we are, where we are, and where do we go from here. Again, our conference theme is We've Got Work To Do, which will feature nine power pack workshops with an electrifying and anointed atmosphere designed to motivate and inspire you as a leader and members of New Life as never before, such as a six-star ministry. It will show you the path of achieving a six-star ministry, showing you the real difference between a five-star and a six-star ministry through serving in excellence, implementing the best practices, and overcoming challenges. Then we have the key to ministry fulfillment. It will give you the seven keys related to intentional and strong leadership. This workshop will empower you to thrive as a leader. Then we have mental health. We have a trained and recognized mental health specialist that will explore with you the connection between mental health and ministry leadership. Then we have recruiting, organizing, and engaging volunteers for effective church ministry. This workshop will guide you through a re-imaging of new life through dynamic church activism with the goal of developing an Ephesians 4 church. Then we have financial success in the kingdom of God. This workshop will explore how financial success meets divine wisdom and how you can align your finances with God's plan. Then we have evangelism, leading the congregation to the community. This will spark the flame of evangelism within you to challenge and equip you to be effective soul winners. Then we have health and wellness. This will help you to understand the important link between your physical health and your spiritual well-being. Then the next workshop asks the question, who do you say you are? This will be an inspirational session that will encourage you to explore the importance of self-identity in the life and ministry of a born-again Christian. Then we have the servant leader. Here we will focus on the characteristics of a servant leader and will encourage you to lead through the service to others. Each workshop will be one hour long. That's with 45 minutes of lecture and 15 minutes of question and answer. Now listen, you'll be allowed to choose three of these nine workshops on the morning of the conference, and I promise you that each one will energize and empower you to be better prepared and more passionate about your service to new life and ultimately God. We will have book giveaways, also psych lunches will be available at the end of the conference. Listen again, mark your calendars for Saturday, March 9th, starting promptly at 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. at New Life Annex 5, 5600 Carishos Drive. You really do not want to miss this life-changing event. Registration is not absolutely required, but it will help us better serve you if you sign your name on our sign-up sheet in the lobby right after service. Or you can email me personally at terryellison.me.com or my secretary, Rita Russell, at rdrussell at nlcoject.org. I want to see you there. Due to upcoming funerals and conferences, all Bible studies will be canceled for the next two weeks. We will also have one service on the third Sunday, March 17th. New Life will come together as one church at Annex 2's 930 AM service, just as we did for this past Christmas and the first Sunday of this year. The Alabama First Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction will have its spring workers meeting 
March 11th through the 16th at Annex 2. This year's theme is We've Got Work to Do. We have several different ways to pay your tithes and offerings, whether in person or virtually. You can give in person during service, online on our website, or you can use Cash App from our mobile device. You can also mail it to the church office. Let's continue staying safe and keeping one another lifted up in prayer. Please be in prayer for Angel Parrish and her entire family as she lost her father, Artis Parrish. Funeral services were held on yesterday at Weeping Willow Baptist Church. Prayers are being requested for Michael and Katrina Harris as he lost his mother, Ruth Smith. Funeral services will be held at 11 a.m. on Friday at Annex 4. Let's lift up Mariel Cottrell and the entire Cottrell family as she lost her mother, Marilyn Cottrell. Funeral services will be held on Saturday after the leadership conference at Annex 4 beginning at 3 o'clock p.m. Please continue to pray for co-pastor Kyle and Lady Kim McKinney as they prepare for his father, Billy McKinney's memorial service on Friday, March 22nd at 11 a.m. The service will be held at Cosmopolitan Baptist Church in Oakland, California. And our scripture for the week comes from Psalm 73 and 26. My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Now, let's get back to our worship. (laughs) 